Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, I just really wanted to talk to you about my Fallout 3 storyline. Now, it goes from the beginning to the end, basically from the console of PS3 to the PC. And, let's start with the Okay. Well, um, every time I, I live in a small, or a uh, good city, I guess. And, um, what happened was, um, I kept going to GameStop and I kept seeing Fallout 3, Fallout 3, Fallout 3, Fallout 3, and I was like, that game sucks. Just get this, get it out of here. And they just wouldn't get it out of here. So, one day I decided, so, I went to GameStop, I couldn't find anything to get. So, I went into GameStop, and I was like, okay, um, they're not gonna get this game out of here. So, I was like, okay, I might as well just, um, I might as well just get this game. So, I did that. I got it and brought it home. Now, knowing Fallout, I did not, not know anything about any Fallout series. Now, I didn't know there was a Fallout, I didn't know there was Oblivion, I didn't know there was Skyrim. Well, Skyrim was an alpha, but, um, yeah. Um, so I started playing this game, and this game was hard as crap. It was hard as crap. Like, everything was going bad. Um, I found, I started playing, and I looked at, um, the, um, part where, um, you, we've fought one and one and all that stuff, and, yeah, that's me saying six But, uh, but anyways, I was joining this, and what happened was, I, um, I let Vault 101 on P- This is on PC, not PC, this is on PS3. PS3, okay? And, I started playing it, you know. I got to Megaton, and Megaton was like, a new war to me. I didn't know what to do. And, I, uh, it was weird, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I noticed that, um, if I kill somebody in Megaton, that they were all attacking me. I didn't know that. And I was like, what? This is so stupid. So I stopped. I was like, okay, I'm not going to play this game because this game is freakishly hard. So I didn't know that I was supposed to go and make a ton of kill. It was hard as crap. I mean, I didn't know what to do. So I started playing a little bit more the next day and the next day and the next day. And I finally got. I was scared as crap to even leave Megaton after I finished the Megaton mission and stuff. I was scared as crap to leave, even leave Megaton. The reason of this was because, um, basically, um, every time I go out of the Megaton, there's always like a Moat that attacks me. I was like, oh my god, and it scared me. I was scared of it. And I didn't want to leave because I was scared of going out and finding you know, one of them ugly things. And this is what I did. Um, I just stopped playing the game. I mean, I rented, wait, no, I bought the game. And, um, I stopped playing it, because it was just a scary game. And I was like, um, so one day, I said, you know what, fuck this. I'm basically gonna beat this game tonight. And knowing me, I didn't know I couldn't beat the game in one night, because I don't know anybody in the world that beat the game all like three in one day. So, for one night even. So, I was like, okay, so, I, I've been playing it, and I noticed that, um, I had no way, no way to know where I went. I didn't know where to go. I didn't. I really didn't. Um, I, I left Megaton. I went all the way around Megaton, like, five times, and killed, like, a lot of Moax. And then, I didn't even go to that tunnel part, across the river. I just went, I just went behind the Michael's son and kept going back, forward, forward, forward. And I finally found, like, one of them big rag, rag roaches. And I couldn't kill it. I was like, oh my god, what is that? Like, I actually got scared. And what happened was, oh wow. I, I didn't want to do anything. I said, no, this game, this game is, no, no, no. And then, I stopped playing it for another week or so. And then, it was what happened. Now this is on P, P this is still on PS3. And I finally got I finally got done on everything. And um I finally got the courage to do the game again. Now 
between like I stopped playing the game, I did some research on Fallout 3. I tried to see if I can get any cheats or anything. Now I did see that there was cheats on PC, like basically ugh, basically console commands. I didn't know what console commands were. And I went what the cheats do and you gotta do all this blah 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 typing and everything. So I did that, okay? And when I did that, I was like, okay, now now I'm gonna try and do this on PS3. I look at the PS3 controller and it didn't have that mouse button or keyboard button. I was like, no, you can't do that. So I was so depressed and I was mad. So I looked around on PS3. I had the PS3 all out three mods or something, and it brought me to GameFacts.com. And what GameFacts.com had was it had saved what people put on GameFacts. And basically, people can downloading and putting on their hard drive. Now, this was over to me going to the store and getting like a USB to put it in my um, PS3. Now, I did that and I got the save. Now, it was a very good save. I love the save. I mean, the save was basically the save basically played on all the time. Now, I got the save and it basically flipped me back to Megaton. But I was at Megaton and I had so much good stuff. <laughs> I had I good stuff, and I was I was leveled up in it. Okay, I was high level in everything. So I was like, okay, F B C. I I don't care about it. I don't I don't care about it. So I started playing uh Fallout 3 with the army say blah blah blah. So I finally got the hang of new and how to play Fallout 3. When I started beating and killing people and finding my way around. Um, I got stuck at where I had to get to uh, the, um, where you find the, uh, lady, the blonde, where you, when you force me to put it in sale, I got lost at that point, and I was so freaking mad, I mean, I was mad as crap, and what happened was, um, I had a research, and I finally researched the end was a YouTube video, this YouTube video told you wherever go, and I followed the exact steps. I paused the video every time you do a little bit and I did it. And we really did that. And I got I finally got there and then I got to um where I used to kill the first mutant and that stupid mutant killed me like fucking five hundred times. And I was like, oh god. And I found the one to get the the fat man and kill him. And then we got to the place where um what car what's it called? Um Um the dude was on the Galaxy News Radio and everything. So, I did that, and basically what happened was, um, when I did that, um, I got past the Galaxy News Radio dude, and when I got past him, what happened was, I, um, I finally got, um, yeah, this guy's a dick. Do a fucking knife at me. Or an axe. Fucking asshole. And, um, whatever, um, I, um, Got past the galaxy, and you know when you go down there and you see all the boards and stuff down there, and you gotta go to this big, another huge tunnel? I did that. And I went through so many tunnels. I got so lost. I couldn't even find my way back out of the tunnel. So basically, what I had to do, I mean, I had to do it. I mean, I tried to kill myself so I could go back to a save. I didn't even know there was a save at first. Well, I killed myself, and then I, it all the replaced me back to my save, and it replaced me to, like, when I went back to the door, and I couldn't even get past that door. I was so mad. So, basically, what I did is, I just reloaded the Megasun mod and PS3 save I made, downloaded, and did all of that all over again. And then, after that, after that was done, I, um, after that was done, I, um, basically, this is what I did. I went to um I think I went to um I did everything and I went to the internet and when I went to the internet I noticed that the internet does have Fallout 3 does have good um mods and all that stuff like like it had the mods and stuff where um like um it had um the modded not modded weapons but um the legendary weapons, that's what I'm trying to say. Legendary guns and bats and all them good bats and stuff that have more attack power and all that stuff. Well, I noticed that, but I noticed that I was 
I haven't even beaten a game yet. I couldn't barely even get any of the items because I had to go to all uh, these places first. So, I did that. I beat the game. I mean, it took me two weeks, maybe three. I don't can't remember, but it took me three weeks to beat the full game. And when I beat the full game, I started looking around, going around, exploring Fallout 3, the wasteland, and all that stuff. And I got a few items, like good, good weapons. Now, this is where I went on the play. I got internet finally. I, this is where I finally got internet. Now, I got internet, went on PlayStation Network, and typed in Fallout 3. Fallout 3 had DLC. I didn't know what DLC stands for. What is DLC? What is this? So I downloaded one. And what the DLC was, that I didn't even know. What the DLC was, was, um, it was like, DLCs that, um, basically, like, you get to do more stuff. So, basically, the first thing I downloaded was Operation Anchorage, I think. And, I no, it was, it was, it was, um, the one where you get to level cap to 30. It was, um, I forgot what it was called. I forgot what it's called. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Anyways, um, it's an extra storyline for the Bullethood and Steel and all that stuff, and Enclave and all that stuff. You know what I mean, if you play Fallout. Um, but anyways, um, I played it, and I loved it. I loved it. I said, I want more, I want more, I want more DLC. So, <laughs> I did it. I got the DLC, and I didn't have enough money to uh, get any, uh, any more DLC. So, I looked up uh, on the internet, and I said, okay, is there a game where I can get all the DLC, and what I found was there was a Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition, and it came out the pre the next year when the game came out. Now this is what I did. I asked my mom if she could take me to um, the store and get um, Fallout 3 Game of the Year. This is for PS3. I got it. Okay, she bought it for me and everything. Now this is when I started. Um, no, this is when I started knowing um, how to do PS3 and stuff. Now. When I started doing P PS3 and stuff, I, um, you might want to turn your video stuff up because you can't, won't be able to hear the audio, but anyways, the game audio, not my voice, but the game audio. Um, but I started playing this PS3, um, Game of the Year version. Beat all the add-ons, this took about, I had to beat the whole game all over again, do the whole add-on stuff all over again, and do some of the add-ons I haven't done yet. Took about a month to beat. And then I started looking around the stuff to get all the less day albums again. That took about a month and a half, or maybe a fourth, one fourth, or three, three fourths, a month and three fourths. And I loved Fallout 3 after that. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Now, this is when I got the Xbox. I got the Xbox and I did everything I did on PS3, but like without all the newbie stuff on PC, and I did it on Xbox. Like I did add-ons, did everything, got the achievements, and everything. Now between like the break from Fallout 3, the, before I got um, Xbox, between the Fallout 3 and the whatever card, this is what I did. I did some research on Fallout 3 on the PC, and that Christmas, that Christmas after I got um, my. Um, before I got my Xbox, I asked my mom if she could get um, my P uh, Fallout 3 on PC. So I asked her. She said, okay, we'll get it for you. So she got it. Okay. Now, I did some research on Fallout 3 on PC. And the computer I had was a... I... No, it was a laptop. And this laptop couldn't even play a game for the save its life. I mean, it was sucky at playing games. I couldn't play any Fallout game. So what I did, I had no resort, no resort, but to torrent the Fallout 3. I torrented and see if I could want it. Of course it had the virus. But I had no 360 on my computer, which deleted it. But, um, I, um, I did that. Now, I torrented it and tried to play the game. When I tried to play the game, I couldn't even open up Fallout 3. My computer was so bad. So I did some research and I finally got to open up on PC. Now when I finally got to open up on PC, um, I finally like did um, try to do a new game on PC and I kept getting this error. Um, Fallout 3 is crashed. Sorry, Fallout 3 is crashed. Fallout 3 is crashed. It's a new um, game, um, Windows 7 thing. When, when you press new game it crashes. I did this, and it was making me so mad. Okay, it was making me so mad. 
So I switched it on YouTube, Fallout 3, new game, um, Windows 7 fix. I did this. I did exactly this. I downloaded the DLL file, and I put it in my Fallout 3 dictionary. Okay, this is where I finally got Fallout 3 to load. This is where I finally got fed up with my laptop of game purposes. Okay, this is what I did. I launched Fallout 3. I went through the, uh, on my PC. This is on PC. We're done with Xbox and PS3. We went from PS3 to Xbox, and now we're on PC now. Now, we're done. I launched up Fallout 3 on my PC, on my Xbox. Okay, not my Xbox. Excuse me. My, my laptop. My laptop, okay? And it was so laggy. My specs on my PC was a 2.10. HD Intel processor. The video card was HD um, video something. Blah blah blah. I couldn't do shit on my game. Nothing at all. I couldn't do anything. Nothing. I I'm serious. I couldn't do anything on my game. That's the reason you're on my when you're friend because you. Yeah, really? <laughs> but, anyways, um. This is what I did. I was like, okay. I can't, I can't play Fallout 3 on my laptop. I can't do it. It's, it's so laggy. It's like skipping everywhere. So I had to resort, I did some research and what the one of the forms I searched was that, that, um, you load all your, um, things to like the lowest possibility. I load everything. I load to low. I load the shadow low. Everything I possibly lower to low. And I made my windows, my window, I made it on window, not full screen. I made it as small as you could see. You couldn't even see it with my um, computer. So, I did that. Now, I could, I had to squint my eyes to look at this. Now, I was still lagging. It made me so mad. It made me so mad. And when I finally finished, um, when I finally finished it, like, if I find this finish coming down, I found, I found canIwantit.com. And when I put, when I did Fallout 3, my PC couldn't even do nothing on it. So I had no choice. No choice to tell my mom, Mom, don't get Fallout 3 for Christmas because it's not going to want on my PC or my laptop and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay, okay, I got to send it back. Okay, okay. And everything. So, now, this is where, this is where, um, um, this is where I got so mad that I just kept my torn file that I, I torn to the um, Fallout 3 and I just started playing it like on the lowest windows on the um, lowest um, quality and I installed mods. Now these mods basically, wow these mods sucked. It basically made my computer slower or my Fallout 3 lag bunch uh, more and more, okay? And this is when I got a new a new laptop. It was the Asus laptop. I could play everything on Fallout 3 good, but on low setting. But it was still kind of laggy between points. Now that wasn't so bad. I got some mods, but it did make it bad or lag. Now, I, like I already knew how to play Fallout. Now, when I, I already knew how to play Fallout, so I was, I was like, okay, fuck this, dude. This is making me mad. Right? This is making me mad. So I just stopped it, and then I accidentally broke my my laptop. And when I broke it, I just said stop playing Fallout 3. So I just started playing Fallout 3 back on my Xbox. I had no choice. After that, this is when I got this computer. And the first game I played on this computer was Fallout 3. And guess what? My on this computer, I'm on right now, and I'm recording this on. It put it on ultra high settings and I could have recorded at 60 frames per second while recording on ultra high settings I was like law and I just did something I just wanted to do and put it on um, high sentence and then settings and then I'm recording I can record on 60 frames per second this is um, this is like ultra high but I didn't want to mess anything on my computer since it was brand new I'm just like an overtake all like that so yeah that's like my little Fallout 3 storyline from like 
from the beginning I got Fallout 3. Um, I love Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is my favorite game. It's a classic. No one, I don't care what nobody says. Fallout 3 is always going to be a classic. Just like Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty. I loved it. Okay. So, this is a 20 minute video. And I actually got done with my full 20 minute video. I like this. So, yeah. Um. That, yeah. Um. Between Fallout and treating game consoles and consoles and consoles and consoles and consoles, I finally figured out how to run Fallout 3 better. They say Fallout 3 is much better on PC, and I say yes it is. Fallout 3 is much better because you can do so much things on Fallout 3 that you can't do on consoles. Like, well you can kind of do it on Xbox, but you need a JTAG. And sometimes JTAGs are dangerous to do, and they're, they're dangerously to create. So I never did want to do that. So, yeah, that's why basically I got the PC and I did all my um, YouTube stuff now. So that's why I've been uploading 14 videos of Fallout 3 lately. And this video will be going up maybe at 11 tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to try to talk for another 30 seconds or 40 seconds here. Um, yeah, I love Fallout 3. I keep saying it. I keep saying it because it, it, I do. I mean, it's a classic, and it was a good game. Now, Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, I played on uh, Xbox, I think. The f that was the first time I played Fallout New Vegas was on Xbox. It, was, it wasn't it was good as Fallout 3, that's all I got to say. Because it was freezing, and it was even more freezing than on Fallout 3 than it was on uh, Fallout New Vegas than it was on, on Fallout 3. So, I will do my little Let's Play Fallout 3. So, thank you for watching. My name is PC Gamer, Explosion123, and I'm um, signing out!